Hi, I'm Eric Kai, the chemical statistician. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the carbonate ion. In previous videos, I drew the Lewis structures for carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. So if you haven't watched those examples yet, I encourage you to do that first. As always, we begin by counting the number of valence electrons in the constituent atoms. We know that carbon has four valence electrons, and each of the three oxygens has six valence electrons. There are also the two electrons from the charge of two minus. That gives us four plus 18 plus two equaling 24 valence electrons. Now, we need to determine the arrangement of the atoms in this polyatomic ion. As usual, I encourage you to think about electronegativity. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So it makes sense to put the more electronegative atoms, the oxygens, on the periphery and the, less, and the less electronegative atom, the carbon, in the center. Now we need to distribute these 24 valence electrons into this polyatomic ion. We first draw the bonds, and I encourage you to assume that the bonds are all single bonds. That's not always true, but it's a good starting point. That uses six of the 24 electrons, so we need to distribute the other 18, and at this point it's a good assumption that those 18 electrons are spread evenly between those three oxygens on the periphery. That's not always true, but it's a good starting point. Six electrons for this oxygen, six electrons for this oxygen, and six electrons for this oxygen. Now, there's a charge of two minus, so let's draw square brackets around this Lewis structure. And let's write two minus here. Now, the electrons are distributed, but the carbon in the middle does not have a stable octet. One way to remedy this would be to move one of the lone pair of electrons, one of the lone pairs of electrons, toward the bond between the oxygen and the carbon. So let's do that for this oxygen right here. I'm going to take away this lone pair of electrons, and I'll move it to this bond. So now the carbon has a stable octet, and we still have those 24 valence electrons distributed throughout this polyatomic ion. And I'm just going to redraw these electrons so that they are as far apart from each other as possible. Okay. But of course, each of one each of those oxygens could have this could could be donating a pair of electrons into that bond with the carbon. So we in fact have three resonance structures. And we denote resonance structures, of course, with double-headed arrows.
Whoa. Okay. Let me draw this first. And then I'll draw the double-headed arrow. There we go. Okay. And then... Carbon, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Okay, so those are the three resonance structures for the carbonate ion. And those, of course, are the three Lewis dot structures for the carbonate ion. If you'd like to learn more about statistics, chemistry, machine learning, or math, please visit my blog, The Chemical Statistician, or you can also read career advice for your professional development. You can also find me on Twitter at Chemstat Eric. Visit my YouTube channel to watch more video tutorials on statistics or chemistry. And you can also find my new talk show, The Central Equilibrium, in my YouTube channel. In that talk show, I interview guests about math, science, or economics. They teach me concepts by writing formulas, equations, graphs, or diagrams on a whiteboard, and I ask them questions. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you learned something useful today.